welcome back to my channel. We are going to start a new series called Baby Basics. So that's right, I'm starting a new series on my channel and it's all about babies. So I'm gonna start out at like the basics, how to's, very simple things and work our way up because I am a seasoned mom now. I have an almost four year old and an almost two year old. So been in the ball game for a little while. I also helped to raise my siblings and then I was a nanny. So got some pretty good experience under my belt and I thought I would share it with all of you. So if you are a first time parent, if you are a guardian or you're someone who is going to start taking care of babies, I'm going to teach you how to change a diaper. So we're going to do the basics of how to change a diaper. And then I'm going to give you guys tips and tricks and just all the things that I have learned over these years. So you will lay your baby down on the changing table and get all the things you need. So I'm going to grab some wipes and just pull them out and set them there so that they're ready to go when I need them. I'm also going to get the diaper out now and get it all spread out and ready to go so it's easy to put on the baby once I've opened everything up. Then I'm going to get diaper rash cream if I need it and or the petroleum jelly if I need that as well. And I set those out so they're good to go. Next, I will undo the baby's pajamas or whatever they're in, get the diaper ready to open. I take the new diaper and I put it under the baby's bottom so that it's ready to go. I pull the tabs off and then open up the diaper, wait for pee, wipe anything away. Then I take a wipe and wipe everything that needs to be wiped from front to back. And then I put it into the diaper and pull the dirty diaper away. Now I have the clean diaper that's ready to go. So I put the baby on the diaper. This I can put rash cream if I need to. And then I close everything up. And then I will put the baby back into its pajamas like this baby has on and you're good to go. Now that you guys have seen how I change a diaper. Yes, that was quick, straightforward, straight to the point. Now let's get into the nitty gritty details. I'm gonna give you guys just tips and tricks that I found over the years that are helpful. And once again, every baby is different. Every person is different. So just try these things out. And this is for the younger stages. It's not when they start getting wiggly and rolling and being all crazy because that is a whole different video. So yes, I have about six different topics to share with you guys. Let's get to it. The first one is a be prepared. Now, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm prepared and have my notes. Um, but what I mean by that is have a diaper changing station say anywhere that you are going to change that baby's diaper a lot. And if you live in a one story house like I do, it was very easy to get into say their room or my room where it's kind of like tucked away. But by that, I mean having a changing table, having a changing pad, having a basket full of diapers, wipes, everything that you are going to need, have it there and ready. So um, I remember when I had Liam, I was living in a two story house. I didn't wanna walk upstairs just to change his diaper. So before he could roll over, before he could do anything, I set up a pad on the kitchen table. Yes, not as sanitary maybe for some, but I made sure nothing got on the table. And I had everything set up downstairs for me. So I suggest having maybe multiple baskets around the house, depending on how big your house is, just having it all there ready for you. When you are about to change their diaper, make sure that you have the diaper, the wipes, everything that you are going to need out and ready. So that when you have that squirmy little baby or a crying little newborn, you aren't having to search for everything. So have everything the moment either you walk into the room or you lay them down, immediately grab everything so that you're good to go as soon as you open up that diaper. This applies mostly for boys. I'm, I don't believe girls really pee on you the moment you open their diaper, but boys will, especially at the beginning. So be ready for that. Now they do sell something called a PPTP, which I think is a little ridiculous. There's no need for that. I've had two boys, never used one. So what we do is we open up the diaper and you can tell the moment they're gonna pee and they usually pee right away. And then you just kind of put the diaper back down. You wait for them to be done peeing and then you can change the diaper. Now, sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes they want to do it in the middle. Just be prepared for that. You can also put a wipe over them so that then the pee is kind of just going down into the diaper. It's not going to squirt up like a fire hose because watch out, that pee will go everywhere. Having a trash can nearby is perfect because you are going to have either multiple wipes, you're going to have a dirty diaper, a pee diaper, like you don't want to have to deal with all that. So either have a little trash bag ready, you can buy them at the dollar store, they're just for like one diaper at a time, um, or I like to keep my either Diaper Genie or whatever pail I'm using, trash can, 
right there by the changing station so I can just plop it right in there. Even if it's a regular trash can and you can go like take the bag out, um, just having it close by keeps you very prepared. Second category would be try to avoid mess. Now what I mean by this is trying to avoid mess is change them on something. Have it be a changing pad, a changing, something waterproof preferably, just having them on something that either you can wipe off, you can take away and wash, or something that just won't be ruined. So say not straight onto your bed because you don't want to get poop all over your bed or your couch or anything like that. So have them being laying on something. If you've ever seen a onesie or I think in other countries they call it a baby grow, they're the kind of like undershirts for babies. My babies always just wore them normal. There is a interesting little collar to them. So that is made so that you can pull the onesie down. You don't have to go up over their head. You can just go straight down. This is perfect for when there is a poop explosion, pee explosion, anything that you don't want to then get tracked all the way up their body. Highly suggest using that. Even if you want to use that normally, that way you don't have to deal with the snaps later on. Um, but I really suggest using one of those and actually using it for its features. What I really like doing, especially when they are brand new, is before I even open up that diaper, I put a brand new diaper ready to go right underneath them. So the moment I open up that dirty diaper, I take care of the situation, and then immediately their little tush goes straight onto a brand new diaper. So it's nice and convenient. It also works for babies that want to then poop again. So you've got a full diaper, you take that away, and they immediately start pooping again. It happens quite often. You already have a diaper ready to go to catch that mess. A trick that I kind of learned, I don't know who taught this to me, but you use the diaper as a wipe first. So what I mean by this is that you open up the dirty diaper and you use the top of the diaper, unless that is covered, if it's a whole major explosion, then you might not be able to do this. But what I do is I use the top of that diaper and I wipe everything down. So this does only apply if you're having a poopy diaper. So you use that type top of the diaper and what the analogy that I've heard is that if you don't, if you have like a mayonnaise packet for a sandwich, but you don't have a knife, you took the um, package and use that as a knife. So it's similar to that. You're kind of just wiping everything away. So then you have less to use for wipes. Our next category is keeping everything under control. So this can kind of be hard sometimes, but when they're little, it's a little bit easier. Give them something that soothes them so that they're happy, so that they're content. Not all babies will be okay with this. You can give them a toy. You can give them something that isn't a toy, but is still safe for them to use. My kids always liked having like the, des the um, diaper rash cream bottle because they can't open it. Anything that they can play with that's maybe not normal. Obviously, if your baby wants, say, to be breastfed, you're not going to be doing that while you're changing them, but just give them something to calm them down so that they are happy and not out of control crazy. Another thing is to just get in and out. Get in, take care of business, and get out. Now they do say that you're supposed to talk to them and love them and talk like while you're doing all that. I found that that actually distracted my baby too much and that they just were like, okay, now pick me up. So it's like, what I would do is I would just get in and out. You can talk to them while you're doing it, but don't stand there and kind of like just taking your time. Try to get in and out so that you can keep everything under control. Dreaded diaper rash. Everybody dreads this. Now I have two boys, so I don't have to deal with it probably as much as say if you have a little girl, because I've heard little girls can get horrible rush because everything's just sitting there all the time. So what I found is that I would put on, especially at the beginning, coconut oil or Vaseline just over everything that needed it to give it a layer between your baby's skin and either the pee or the poop that's going to be sitting on it. Now, my son Liam had a really hard time. If he had poop in his diaper for more than a couple minutes, he had a rash already. So I remember just putting that on, just a light layer, and it just gave them a little bit more of a protection, and I would do that all the time. Now with boys, there's obviously a little bit more going on, so you might wanna put it everywhere. It's up to you. When they are brand new, if you are breastfeeding, breast milk is amazing for diaper rash. It's crazy, it just clears it up almost immediately. At least that's what I found. If you actually do have diaper rash and say coconut oil, breast milk, none of that's working, what I found that works the best is Desitin Extreme or Super. It's one of their like like highest grade ones, I guess, but it's the Desitin brand. Now the off brand of that that says like compared to works just as well, but not as quickly. So there's like the Target, Walmart, there's all these different brands, but I love the Desitin I think it's extreme. I think it is, I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. But yes, I love that brand and it gets rid of it almost immediately. This might be kind of a basic thing, but check their diaper 
constantly. When it comes to diaper rash, it's a matter of maybe just minutes, like I said with Liam, or it, I mean, it could take them longer, but constantly check their diaper, especially when they're little because they go and you don't even realize. If it's a breastfed baby, they've gone, you don't even realize because you don't smell it. When applying a diaper rash cream, it's thick. Remember, it's thick, it's waterproof because that's what it's meant to do. So I, I mean, I use my fingers. People have, there's, they sell like applicators. Some have used tissues. I mean, I just use my finger. I make sure my hands are clean and I wash them really good after. Another thing that people dread is peeing through, pooping through, all that kind of fun stuff. So when it comes to a nighttime pee throughs, what we have kind of tested and trialed was nighttime diapers. Now I'm not a Huggies brand fan for regular, but nighttime diapers, they're awesome. So you can try out different brands, some fit differently, so just be aware of that. What you can also do is double up on the diapers. So you can have two diapers on them, so it soaks through one, and then it has that other one ready to go. Um, that one just makes them a little bit bulky, but you can also get liners that go in the diaper. This one works really well for girls. Not so much for boys because they pee and then it comes just straight up them, kind of no matter what you do. But for girls, it works really well. I remember my sister, we used them all the time. So they're just this little tiny, they look like a pad. They just stick right into the diaper and they fill that up and then it goes to the regular diaper. So you don't have a pee through. Another good tip is going a size up. Say they are a size one and then at nighttime you put them in a size two. Just so there's a little bit more room and it won't immediately fill up and push on their clothes. And I noticed that most of the time I get pee throughs when my child is ready to move up a size. So that kind of gave me an indication. Last but definitely not least is changing them at nighttime. You're tired, you're exhausted, and these are some tips that'll help. Now I said changing them frequently was a good, good thing, but at nighttime, if you really don't need to change them, if they're not super full, if they don't have poop, don't do it. You don't need to change them constantly if they just have a little bit of pee. Now some kids, that totally doesn't work. They need to be changed immediately because they just don't like it. So if your child is okay with kind of sitting in a pee diaper, dirty diapers, most definitely always change those. But if it's a pee diaper and it's just a little bit, it's not a super full diaper, don't change it. The best kind of outfits for nighttime are the zippers that zip from the foot up. They have zip from the top down and the foot up. Those are amazing because you only have to get out their little legs in their diaper and then put them back in. Another good thing for when they're tiny are the gowns. Now this does let air get up in them, but it does cinch up just a little bit at the end, so it's not too bad. But then that way you can just pull their little legs out and you don't have to completely undo all of them. I do highly suggest getting some kind of nightlight so that you can see what's going on because you do need to, if it's a poopy diaper, you have to clean everything at say two o'clock in the morning and three o'clock and four o'clock and all that fun stuff. So make sure to get a light so that you can see what you're doing. So there you guys go. I know this is somewhat of a long video, but that is how you change a diaper. Those are tips and tricks. Once again, this is all just my experience. If you guys have any more tips and tricks, leave those down in the comments. I love to hear what you guys have to say and make sure to tune in to next week for baby basics. I hope you're having an amazing day. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me that comment and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.